This video is going to walk you through fraction and whole number multiplication. So if we look at the first one, 2 ninths times 3, this is how you do it. You're really going to be multiplying the whole number times the numerator. So 3 times 2 is 6, and then your denominator is going to stay the same. So your answer is 6 ninths. They do not need to simplify in fifth grade, so we're going to leave it as 6 ninths. Now let's take a look at this one. I wanna show you another way. Now a whole number, every whole number, actually has an invisible denominator of one, okay? So what I'm really doing when I multiply the whole number times the numerator, um, if I do 10 times four, I'm gonna get 40. But when I say leave the denominator the same, it's because I'm really multiplying the denominator by one, and five times one is five. Okay, so we've got 40 over 5 now as our answer, and that, as you know, is an improper fraction. You can't leave it as an improper fraction. That we can't do. So we need to simplify this. So this is really, a fraction line is really a division bar. Fractions are a division. So 40 divided by 5 equals 8. So 8 is our answer for this one. Okay? All right, let's try another one. So we have 3 fourths times 9. And again, what I like to tell the kids to do is just take your whole number and multiply it by your numerator. So 9 times 3 is 27. That's your new numerator. And then your denominator stays the same. Now again, 27 fourths is an improper fraction, so that means we do have to simplify it. So we are dividing the 4 into the 27. So what I tell the kids they can do if it's difficult for them is to write it out as long division. 4 goes into 27 six times, so that 6 becomes my whole number. 4 times 6 is 24. 27 minus 24 is 3. So that 3 becomes my numerator, and then my denominator stays the same. So 6 and 3 fourths. Okay, let's do one and more. One more. All right, so we have 7 times a half. 7 times 1 is 7. Denominator stays a 2. So I have 7 halves or 7 over 2. Again, it's improper, so you're going to want to convert it to a mixed number. 2 goes into 7 3 times because 2 times 3 is 6. And when you're at 6 to get to 7, it's a difference of 1. So 1 becomes your numerator and your denominator stays the same, 3 and a half. 